Hey guys, I'm Zafira and welcome to my figure collection tour of 2023. If you want to help out a fellow figure collector, please subscribe to our channel and help us reach 1000 subscribers. Okay, so let's start here on my top shelf. And beginning here on the left side, we have my little Kogami Nendoroid, my Kogami Arcana, uh, I forgot his name. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ginosa and Makishima. Kagari. My goodness. Kagari. Um, yeah. My whole Psychopaths Junior Creative set, which I absolutely love. Next to Makishima, we have a nine from Terror in Tokyo. And behind them, we have the Dominator replica from Psychopaths as well. Right next to him we have my Hyakimaru from Dororo, which is an awesome figure. He's absolutely beautiful. His painting is immaculate, so yeah, really love him. And next to him we have my Violet Evergarden Garage Kit, which I bought from E2046, which is also absolutely beautiful. And going on here we have my Rin and Makoto altar figures from Free. And down here we have my uh, Ovari no Sara figures, which are Mika and Ferid, which I also really like and are very rare and expensive right now. Next to them we have my little Resident Evil shrine. Starting from the top we have my Tyrant from Numskull and my Jill Valentine, which I think is a Kuji figure, which I also really really like. Down here we have my Leon and my Chris um, Collector's Edition figures, which are absolutely stunning. And here we have the QT1 Plus figures from Prime One Studio, which are so awesome. I never would have thought that I liked these so much, but they are so, so cool. And on the bottom here we have my Leon 1.6 Gale from Kodobukia, which is Awesome! He looks so amazing. And right next to him we have my absolutely stunning Licker by Numskull as well. And here we have my uh, key replicas which came with the Collector's Edition of Resident Evil 2. On the next shelf we have a couple of Figmas and loads of Nanoroids. Starting from the top again we have this little Jean figure from Attack on Titan which was from a magazine or something, uh, but I think he really fits well with my Levi Figma, which is right next to him. Then we have Sailor Mars from Sailor Moon, which is an SHV Watts, which is also very nice. And since Sailor Moon was the first anime I ever watched, and Sailor Mars is best girl from that show, so yeah, I needed her in my collection. And here we have the Figma of Lucina, which is also very, very nice. Down here we have a custom made Claire Redfield figure which uh, I do have a video somewhere on our channel. And here we have my Portal 2 figures, which oh, is a P body or Atlas, I always mix them up. Um, yeah, the Nandroid and a random gaming figure. I don't know which manufacturer it is. I bought him on at the Gamescom a couple of years ago. Many of years, many years ago, actually. And then here we have my Johnny Silverhand Nandroid, which I really, really like. I enjoyed the game very well and yeah, he's a very cool Nandroid. Then here, going on with the theme of Resident Evil, we have my beloved Chris Redfield Nandroid. I love him very, very much. And next to him we have my custom-made Claire Redfield uh, Nandroid, uh, because obviously Chris needed his sister. Next to them, we have my Inori Nandoroid from Guilty Crown and my Nanachi Nandoroid from Made in Abyss, which is so adorable. I love her so much. She's, she's so cute. And down here, we have my little gaming Nandoroid section. And in the back, we have my Bayonetta Nandoroid, which I think is the most beautiful Nandoroid I have, although her quality is kind of poor in some details, but I love her very, very much. Then we have my Aloy Nandoroid, which I honestly was at first a bit disappointed in the painting because she has no shading at all, but seeing her pose like that, she is adorable and I'm very glad that I bought her. And then right next to her, one of my first Nandoroids, maybe 
even the first nanoroid I ever got is my Link Nandoroid from Majora's Mask and I love him, he's so cute. Next to them we have my little Haikyuu Nandoroid section which is complete now because I'm probably not getting more Haikyuu Nandoroids but in the back there we have the first version of Kuro. Then we have Okto which is the re-release, he is also the re-release. And down here we have Kenma in the middle and the jersey versions of Kageyama and Hinata left and right which are so adorable. I love them so much. Ah, oh, love Haikyuu. You gotta love Haikyuu. And down here my last Nandroid right on this shelf is my custom made Xena the Warrior Princess which uh, we have a video on on this channel so if you are interested in that please check that out. And going on to the next shelf which is this one. We have on the top all of my Black Butler figures, which I love so much. The Kudibukia figures are the prettiest Black Butler figures you can get. Starting on the left here, we have uh, CI from Kudibukia, which is just pretty. And in the back we have Sebastian, which honestly is the best Sebastian figure out there in my mind. And then right next to him we have a price figure from... I'm not sure, is it Sega? I'm, I'm, don't quote me on that. And going with him, we have the CL price figure. And I saw him on a convention once and I absolutely fell in love because I just love his stance. It's so CL stance, his pose sitting in the chair. He's just cute. In front of them or next to them, we have my Q Posk, not Q Posk, Q Posh something from Kotobukiya, which are kind of like Nandoroid dolls, but without the real clothing which I hate uh, so I really love these because they don't have real clothing the clothes are actually sculpted and yeah I love them very very much and behind them we have my beauty queen I love him so much it's a uh, Grail Sutcliffe from Black Butler and he's one of my favorite figures in my whole collection I just love him so much and uh, next to him, we have uh, another prize figure of him, which I bought at an anime convention. And here we have the Undertaker, which is by Kurobukiya as well, and it's just absolutely beautiful, stunning. Love them. They look so good together. Down here, we have in the back my little cute tiny Pandora Hearts figures of Gilbert and Oz, which came with volumes. 19 and 20 of the manga, I believe, the Japanese manga. Down here we have my little haiku section. Here we have Sugawara, Daichi, Asahi, Hinata, Kageyama, Nishinoya and Tanaka, Yamaguchi, Tsukishima and of course Yunikuru, Kuro, Kuro's best man. And then here we have my Hinata figure, which was a present from Kyoko. And I love him so much. He just looks gorgeous. He's amazing. He looks so much better in real life. I think Photo doesn't really do him well, but oh, he's, he's just beautiful. I love him very, very much. Probably my favorite IQ figure almost, besides the Android. And down here on the last shelf of this bookshelf, we have a couple of gaming figures again. Here we have Lee from The Walking Dead, which is an absolute fantastic game. If you haven't played it, go correct that error. And then here we have my God of War figures uh, because I'm a huge God of War fan and the games are amazing. So here we have Atreus and his father Kratos, the new old Kratos and the uh, younger, older <laughs> Kratos. But yeah, the details and sculptings are really amazing on these figures. And here on the last shelf, on the section of this room, we have my gouache kit of Claire Redfield from the statue by Greenleaf. And this is a recast. I bought her off of um, E2046 and I painted her myself. Um, obviously, it's not the best paint job. It was my first time trying, but yeah. Next up, we have this little section and starting from the top again we have my Koro Sensei 1 6 7 I'm not sure actually uh, awesome statue figure whatever by Tune which is a French manufacturer and he looks awesome there are not many figures of Koro Sensei so 
he is really adorable and looks very very cool down here we have a couple of figures starting from the left we have my Aladdin price figure from Maggie which is very very nice then here in the back we have my Madoka price figure which was a present from Kyoko and I love her very very much because besides the good smile figures I think this is a very very nice if not the best Madoka figure affordable figure you can get down here we have a little Sinbad which goes with Aladdin of course bought him on a convention and here we have one of my Grail figures, which I wanted for a very, very long time. It's the Morgiana by Mega House, also from Magi. And she also was a present from Kyoko. I'm so glad I finally have her in my collection. Next to them, we have my little Omiyoji shrine. And starting here on the left, we have Shuten Doji by NetEase Games, which is a stunning figure. I mean, all NetEase game, Net games figures from Omiyoji are just beautiful but he is amazing and I'm so glad I finally have him next to him we have this beautiful beautiful figure and I'd say probably is the most beautiful figure in my collection because I just love his design it's Seimei from Omiyoji and he just looks stunning love him very very much next to them we have my R1 Not, which was also a birthday present or Christmas present. And yeah, she's a 110 scale, so much smaller than those two. But the cool thing about her is that she actually lights up, which is very, very nice. And yeah, she just looks amazing. And the last figure on this shelf is my Ubuma figure, which also is very, very beautiful. But unfortunately, she's very, very small, which I was kind of disappointed in. But now that I have her and seeing her post like this next to the other Omiyoji figures, I think it's not too obvious since uh, our one is on the smaller side as well. I think they go pretty well together. The next shelf is my little Steinsgate shrine section. And starting here on the left, we have my Makisa One Force Ballet version. It's one of the rare times where I really do like the Balak version. I like her very much, although she's more on the simpler side and yeah. Down here we have a prize figure of Mayuri, which was a present. And next to them we have my Beach Queen figures of Makise and Mayuri as well. And if you can tell, Mayuri is best girl from Steinsgate. Here we have an android, which is very, very cute. I bought her at the convention as well. And behind them, we have another Mayori price figure. I call her the noodle arm Mayori because her arm looks kind of weird. But other than that, she's a very nice price figure. And here in the middle, we have my freeing Yukata style Mayori, which is also very nice. I like her very, very much. Unfortunately, the Yukata is very plain boring, but Otherwise, the figure itself has very good quality and I love her. And the last figure of my Steinsgate section is my Figma of Okabe. He's a very cool Figma. Although I uh, thought about selling him and getting the Nendoroid, so he will go with my the Nendoroid better, but probably I will keep him since the Nendoroid is hard to find right now. Next to them, we have these beautiful, beautiful I'll be show you figures of Edward Scissorhands, which is beautiful. I love the movie. I love the figure. You can't go wrong with it. And here we have the Beetlejuice Bishoyo, which is also just beautiful. I wish they would do more horror Bishoyos like this or of Tim Burton movies. And in front of them, we have the most adorable, adorable Nendoroid you can never imagine. I love him so much. It's my Edward Scissorhands and Android. Look at his face. He's so cute. And I think he looks very sweet in front of his bigger sister. And the last figure on this shelf is undoubtedly the best Levi figure that there is, which is the um, Fortitude Levi by Kodobukia. And yeah, he's just stunning. 
He's amazing. I love him very, very much. Okay, next up we have my little rubber strap keychain section. Here we have Bokdo, which was the pre-order bonus for the Nanoroid when you bought him off of Good Smile. Then we have a little Nubara rubber strap, my little jump, which I would really, really love. It's just sad that you can't really see him. Then we have Karasuma from Assassination Classroom, my little Sishumaru, obviously love him, Sango and Miroke from Inuyasha, little Shippo uh, rubber strap and here in the back little Sailor Mars keychain and another Miroke with Shippo on Shippo, whatever. And on top of here we have my little acrylic sand of Frederick from Fire Emblem and here we have Emilia from The Devil's a Part-Timer which is a very tiny minifigure and yeah, she's very cute. And here we have I've forgotten the English name again. Endivia of Pokemon, which is also very, very cute. Next up, we have my tiny little K section, starting from the bottom. We have Kuro and Shiro, which were, I think, Kuchi figures. And we bought at the Animagic and Anime Convention last time we were there. And above them, we have the matching Munakata. He was my favorite character, so I really, really love him. And here we have a small keychain of Kuro again. And the best figure, obviously, is Fushimi. Although he's not my favorite character, uh, the figure is amazing. He's made by Alta. And what is absolutely amazing about him is that he has the signatures of the makers of the anime. Okay, now we're going to my top shelf on this side of the room, which is my little Jujutsu Kaisen section. Starting in front, we have the Gojo Nanoroid, which honestly is kind of disappointing. I was very disappointed in him, although he looks very cute, but the quality on him is very, very poor. He has this huge, huge seam line on this side. Back there, we have the Skuna uh, Kuchi figure, which was a present. And the first figure I actually broke when unboxing him because I'm stupid, but yeah, I managed to fix him and now he's... There and he looks very very nice for a Kuchi figure. I think he's amazing. Right next to him we have the Gojo figure by Kotobukiya with the bonus side because obviously I think I like him with his uh, face mask much more. I don't know. It's just the way we see him more often in the anime. And next to him we have my Megumi figure which actually honestly is the reason I even started watching um, Jujutsu Kaisen because I saw the promo pictures of this figure and was like oh my goodness but I can't buy the figure if I don't like the anime so I watched the anime absolutely fall, fell in love with it immediately yeah and pre-ordered him right after next to him we have his Nandroid which is also very cute and is far better than the Gojo but yeah all in all I think the Jujutsu Kaisen Nandroids are a bit underwhelming, although at least they have the bonus bases, which are much, much better. In the back, we have my Yuji, which is also a Kuchi figure, and he goes with Skuna. And I actually won him at a Kuchi, which is amazing. And yeah, I was so happy when I uh, pulled him, and he looks just awesome. I think for a prize figure, you can't really tell that he's a prize figure when he's up there. And the last figure on this shelf is my Gojo from Mega House, which actually is a regret that I bought him, but now that he's here, I have to say his sculpt is amazing, his painting is amazing. He is the better figure over the Kotobukiya one, but he was so expensive and actually he's not really worth it. And the worst thing about him is his huge ass base, which is so unnecessary, but yeah, overall the figure looks very, very nice. So yeah, still got him, haven't sold him. Maybe I will in the future, but for now he's staying. And here we have my biggest collection, which is Inuyasha. And yeah, it's a little bit cluttered maybe, but I think it's still working fine. So let's start here on the left. Here we have the most beautiful figure. It's my Sishomaru 17 scale by... Uh, Hobby Max, and he's very, very pretty. I was so happy when they announced him. 
Then down here we have the noodle topper by Furio, a little jar can, my custom painted Nandoroid of Sishomaru, another little jar can which goes with this Toinami, San Diego Comic Con exclusive Sishomaru I believe. And in the back we have his pop-up parade, which is also a very nice pop-up parade. And in front here we have his cute pocket, which is also very, very cute. Behind him we have the noodle stopper of Inuyasha. And Kagome's cute pocket. Next to her we have the bottle cap figure of Kagome and Kikyo, which are very huge. I would say 1 7 scale by Kayudo, I believe. And they are very, very nice figures. Then we have Kikyo's Nandoroid, Kikyo's Pop Up Parade, and my Nandoroids of Miroka and Sango, which are so cute. I love them. Aww. Then in front here we have Kagome, Inuyasha, and little Kirara, which belongs to Sango. And next to them we have a big Funko Pop of Kirara. Um, yeah, it's the only Funko Pop I will ever buy. Because I'm not a fan, but I think she looks very nice, so I had to have her. Behind them we have my pop up parades of Kagome and Inuyasha. As well as this tiny Inuyasha figure set of Inuyasha, Miroke, um, Narake and Sishomaru and Kagome. Then here we have another Toinami figure. This time it's Sangu. And she also comes with a little Kirara. Then of course she needs a man, Miroka. And next to them we have my Inuyasha Kuposket in his human form, which I very like. And behind, probably the best figure in this collection here is by Inuyasha 17 scale by Hobby Max. He's just amazing. The painting, the details. He looks very, very nice. I love him very much. And that's my haul. Inuyasha Chef. Okay, so now we're leaving the anime and manga and gaming realm and venture into the movie world. And obviously the best movies out there are a lot of the rings movies. And starting here, we have my Lord of the Rings figures, which are mostly mini epics by Weta Collection. And starting here on the right, we have the Witch King, which is very, very awesome. Love his design so much. Then we have Boromir, which is okay, I guess. Some of these mini epics look amazing, as you will see with Gandalf, which is... I love him so much. He looks so fucking good. Or Saruman, which is also... I don't know. I, these wizards together look so amazing. I love them. But then again, we have Legolas, for example. He's obviously not the best. But I needed him to finish my fellowship. And then here we have Aragorn, which is also okay, I'd say. Then in the front, we have my hobbits, Pippin. Best hobbit. Love you so much. <laughs> and I think he looks decent. He looks cool. Then we have Pippin. Yeah, Pippin. Merry. And I think he translated very well into mini epics figure form. Yeah, he looks cool. Then we have Gimli, which, yeah, it's okay. I think he looks like a dwarf. Could be any dwarf though. But yeah. And then we have Sam, which really honestly is the best hobbit. Um, yeah, and I think he looks very, very cute, as well as Frodo. He looks oh, he looks also very, very cute. And yeah, just as I said before, I really love the aesthetic of those mini epics together. They look very, very nice. And the last thing on this shelf is the absolutely stunning, beautifully made Gollum figure by Neca. And I think, I mean, look at his face. He is amazing. I love him so much. He's my favorite figure of the Lord of the Rings figures I have. He's love him so much he looks so fucking good amazing yeah that's my tiny lord of the rings section
The next figure, which is also a mini epic figure, is the Demogorgon from Stranger Things by Weather Collections. Mini epic, as I said before. And he looks so amazing. I think he translated so very, very well into mini epics form. He just looks so, so fucking good. Okay, and the last section of my figures is my Harry Potter section. Here we have some mini diecast wands, which are very cool, although very expensive, but kind of very cool. And then on top we have the Snape wand, because Snape is best man. And yeah, here we have my little diorama. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard getting it in frame because it's reflecting so much, but yeah, these are my SH Figure Arts figures of Snape, Hermione, Harry, and Ron. And I absolutely love the face sculpts of, of these figures. I mean, they are so tiny, but they look so much like the actors and I love it, love it. They are so beautiful. And down here, my last section, we have a little potions classroom with my Nendoroid of Hermione. Ron, Harry, and obviously Snape. Yeah, I'm very happy with how these um, turned out. Made all these myself, the um, bookshelf. Kyoko helped me made it. Made this little stone table thingy. Yeah, and I think it looks very, very nice. And I'm very happy with how these turned out. And this is how this section looks. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about my figures or anything, let me know in the comments and please subscribe to our channel and then we'll maybe see you in the next one. Bye bye.